Speaking of things that lined up, KU had its annual basketball banquet tonight. Dia Wall joins us live from Lawrence. Dia. Well, Mick, Bill Self called news of that indictment disappointing. He said it kind of put a damper on their banquet tonight. It's supposed to be a joyful way to wrap up and end the season. But Self said he got word around 5, 530 this evening, and he's only seen parts of it. I asked him when he looked at it, what he was able to see, if he thinks that this is the tip of the iceberg for KU. No, no, I do not. I do not. But, you know, then again, I'll be honest, I, I haven't seen exactly what was written and I don't know all the details about it, but I, I do know that 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 uh, 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 that that would be not be part of the role in which we would play at all. So so, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll look forward to hearing more about it. But no, I, I when you say tip of the iceberg, tip of the iceberg in college athletics, uh, I don't know that this is the tip. I think the tip was probably back in September, but I do think this adds to it without question. Self said for now, any more questions, specific questions, he needs to forward to the University of Kansas. Live in Lawrence, Dia Wall, 41 Action News. Dia, thank you. And we do want to mention that KU is not the only school listed here. It also involves the University of Louisville, the University of Miami, and North Carolina State University, all Division I schools.